We are gathered here to fill you with fear and give you a treat for your ears as we invade your mind with our scary rhymes and some tales that can be gory. As you bear witness and sit here and listen to our poetic horror stories. I am your host and narrator, Gloomy Pond. I hope you are here to have some fun. I have here with me three stories told poetically for you to enjoy and consume. So please feel free to turn up your volume. We are here every Friday to play with spooks and shades to parade their display. So boys and girls, get ready for a journey into our world. Grab some popcorn and some snacks. Get comfortable and relax, and do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It is free, it won't cost you anything, and please hit the bell. With that said, now on with tonight's tales. I can't breathe! I hope somebody would save me. I'm joking suffocating nothing underneath my feet while I'm dangling here like a piece of meat a rope is around my neck tightening strangling me to death they strung me up here in this tree so that they could punish me in a circle they chant in their black robes praying to their dark god for all the souls that they present as a gift to him a stranger's life for the taking such a task so grim Yes, I was new to this town, with no family, so they thought I won't be missed or found. I should have heeded the signs that the town folk were just not right. With the robes and masks they wear for the celebration tonight, they watch me struggle for my breath, twisting and kicking till I have nothing left. With tears falling from my bulging bloodshot eyes, I feel my one pipe closing, this is my demise. I'll never get to see the light of day. And so I begin to pray that my God will accept me in as I hang here lifeless at my bitter end. I haven't gotten any sleep for a while, at least a few weeks. I really need to get some sleep, to get some rest and some peace. I can hear my clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. And my room is dark, but I still cannot sleep. I close my eyes and I try counting sheep. One, two, three. But I still just cannot catch a peep. I do not know why, but as hard as I tried, I still cannot sleep. I lay here quiet in my bed, with my pillow underneath my head, with thoughts of dread, and I think, what if I never fall asleep? What would happen to me if I never close my eyes? Will I meet my demise? And would I eventually die? Because I cannot sleep. Now I'm feeling stressed, because my head is a mess, because I cannot catch any shut eye. I take a deep breath, and I pray for rest and do my best to fall asleep. I would do anything just to catch some Z's. I would sell my soul just to know that I could sleep. Then I think, is death just like sleep? Maybe I am dead here in my bed, and that is why I cannot sleep. And if that is the case, then I wonder to myself, who killed me? Why did they feel I had to die? And did they do it when I closed my eyes? And that is why I cannot sleep? It is after midnight still, and if I decided to take this pill, will I see the back of my eyelids? Or will I just lay here, all alone in silence? Nope, that cannot be right, and this must be my anxiety, driving me crazy and keeping me from sleeping. Now I see the break of dawn, so I know that night is gone, and I am still far from slumber. And with the bright beam of light, another day begins, and for me, the cycle starts all over again. I 
know you wish you could be me. That you are green with envy to be. Pretty. When you see me in the street, you stop and turn your head and think, pretty. Because your heart is full of wrath, since I have so much class and pretty. Just because every man that I meet, I make their hearts skip a beat. Because I am pretty. All the gold in this world will not make you the one. That girl, like me, pretty. I can look into your eyes and you will be mesmerized. Well, I cannot help I am pretty. And that is why you better stay on my good side if you don't want to die because of pretty. You see, my looks can get me far. I can tear out your heart and keep it in a jar. You guessed it, because I am pretty. If I wanted you dead, then I can have someone cut off your head. And they will never ask why. They would just do it. Because I am pretty. You see, I always get what I want. No matter what the price. I could walk up to you in a crowd and stab you with a knife. And no one would think twice. Pretty. I could murder. I can maim. And get away with anything. They would all still chant my name. While I am claiming I am insane, it will not matter because I am pretty. Even if they took me to jail, I would never see a cell. They would fundraise for my bail. Yes, pretty. Because justice is blind and they want to believe that I am kind. So I will not do any time. They would just deem me innocent. With one glance from me, pretty. So I'm telling you, you will not be missed. They probably will not accuse or suspect me of this. Me being naughty. They would instead celebrate that I am free and probably throw me a great big party. Hip hip hooray, they would say. Pretty. But you want it to be petty. And you thought you were ready to be like me. But you can never be sweetie. Jealousy is not sweet nor pretty. But you found out too late. And now here you lay in a grave. Because you wanted pretty. So unfortunately now you know. And the body count has grown. And my enemies are buried all around. Deep down in the cold ground, where they will not be found. I told you, I'm the queen of this town. Pretty. So, you're still here, and you made it to the end. I'm glad that you have no fear, and we did not get under your skin. I hope you enjoyed all our stories. And they will not keep you up tonight. And there is nothing lurking for you in the dark. And that you can close your eyes and sleep tight. Thank you for listening to all our creepy rhymes. We hope to see you again. Until next time.